Howdy all, today again, 2020, coming back at you, another episode of Minecraft. In the last episode we built up this little wheat farm over here. I think it looks pretty okay. Not the best looking thing I've ever built, but it works. It'll work for now, I guess. Today's today's episode goal is to build the stables that I was going to do last episode, but unfortunately, last episode ran into time timing problems, so kind of got postponed. So today's episode is to build some stables and hopefully get an enchantment set up because this little spot's looking kind of bland. I'm just gonna drop off everything I don't need. Alrighty, we're gonna grab. Keep the wood. Might wanna hold on to that. Having wheat. Wheat is good to have on handy. Hmm. I'll sort that stuff out later. Didn't I have two leads somewhere? Are they over here? No. Hmm. The solar had some leads. I got some leads from that wandering trader. There they are. Fences. Nope, not in here. Probably had them in that. I just threw them in that chest, didn't I? Let's see. Fences. What about that? What about my gates? all the wood I have on me. Yep, guess so. We're gonna make it last then. Alright, well anyway, first order of business is to build some small stables. I'm not a huge fan of using just fence posts. I'm also not the biggest fan of keeping it straight, nor do I. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can... Hiding in the little cavern I built on accident. <laughs> All right, now where the frick did I come in at? In here.
took a while to find all of them. Okay, I can't just be placing them like that, man. Best way to make fencing's fences look more unique is just to uh, sort of act, pretty much act like you're drawing something. a little bit. Get a quick nap in and make up a couple of fences and some gaity boys. Alrighty. Yes, I know I should probably just be using the book, but still. So. I'm an old school player. <laughs> I didn't memorize all these things for nothing, right? Sheep and the others for cows. So we're quick. Let's go get some sheep. I'm just. I'm gonna cut back to you when I actually get these filled in. All right. So I'll see you guys in a bit. All right. We found our first specimen. This black sheep right here. Sheep, sheep and cows are both attracted by wheat, but to make things easier, I'm just going to use a lead. Because if I lead them, then I won't need to uh, hold the wheat out constantly and deal with that annoyingness. Be careful with awkward train like this because if they get caught on something and you run away too far the wheat the lead will break it's only got so much strength generally let them catch up a little bit first Almost there, buddy. <laughs> We're getting there, bud. Come on, buddy. We're almost there.
Now I'm gonna hold the weed out. Let him come to me. Take the lead off of him, and now we got all the body in here. Alright, I'm gonna cut ahead. I'm gonna cut the rest of this bit out. I mean, since cows are attracted pretty much the same way, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I just wanted to show you what it's like in one here. So I'll, I'll actually see you guys in a bit now. See ya. Look at me. I am the master of animals. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Alright, guys, we are back. As you can see, I filled up the pins. So now all I got left to do is a bunch of breeding, so. So yeah, it's gonna be fun. Cows and sheep are both bred with wheat. Alright, we got two baby cows plus four adults. Now generally when I breed sheep, I prefer to only prefer to keep the white ones. I don't like the uh different colored dyed sheep all too much. Mostly just because their wool can't be dyed again when you once you craft them. I mean at the end of the day it doesn't really matter, but I mean it does matter if you're going for aesthetics. <laughs> so for now I'm gonna aim to keep it as it is. I got a whole bunch of burden I gotta do in the near future. So, yep. This will be my life for a little while. I also want to keep up on the sugarcane sure sure harvesting. Because. We need all the shirt cane we can get because we're going to need a lot of paper. But in the meantime, I'm going to drop off all this stuff and then we're going to go out on a wood, wood gathering mission. But I'll make sure to breed the cows when I stop by. Is there a quick harvest of potatoes over here? So guys, how's your day's been how's your day been going? I'm doing alright. It's a little late at night though. But that's just how I am. I always record late. I don't record like like so late that it bothers too many people. To my knowledge, they don't say anything about it anyway. No, I love it. Alright, I'm not sure if I can breed them again just yet, but I'm gonna go check. I can, uh, I think you gotta wait like five minutes where you're able to breed them. I'm gonna keep this on me. Poisonous potatoes are junk, guys. Don't even keep them. Gross. They all they do is they poison you. That's their only purpose. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I'm gonna do a quick wood gathering montage, so we'll be right into that.
Alright, montage starting now. Montage. Session. This is our hall after everything's said and done. Quite a bit. Not going to lie. So you may be wondering to yourself, why did I gather so much? To that I say simple, friend. I don't even know why. <laughs> But, hey, it will come in handy, I assure you. Right off the bat, because we are actually going to be doing a little bit of housework today. My next goal with this place is to build up a second floor. I don't need to show you guys every little thing I do, so I'm just probably zoom ahead or just do a building montage. What follows is a brief construction montage. <laughs> Alright, let's see how this guy looks from out here. Looks like he's got a giant forehead with nothing else. So we can cap this a little bit off here too. I'm not sure if I like this style completely. But for now, it works. I have a crazy idea. That crazy idea will not work. <laughs> Unless I do a move like that, maybe. This might work actually.
looks a little weird, I will admit. But it's not horrible. As I look from out here though, this is the more important. You know, I don't mind that. How does that look? <laughs> okay, no, I like the original one better. I like it with the whole gap there. I think that looks all right. Might look a little bit better with more built up scaffolding and stuff. Now I'm going to ignore this back brace area here. See, as you can see, we have a second floor now. Of course, the roof still needs to be filled in. But we got one. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, we are back. Sorry for the long moment of silence. If I don't remember to cut that out, which I, I most likely will, but still. Better say sorry, right? But anyway. I was doing a 
I did all bunch uh, exterior stuff. We'll do a quick go around at it. Well, I, I actually had some fun. I poked out some bits for the framing. See if that helped much. Now we're going to do the thing I'm most afraid of doing when it comes to building things. That is, of course, the roof. The roof always scares me on any build. I need some more crap off of my stuff. I need all the stone I can carry. Here's a fun fact, guys. Pro tip. When you make these things, don't make stairs in the crafting table because it costs seven. Wait. Six. Can't even count. To, just to make four. When you could also when you can alternatively use a stone cutter for one for one. So whenever you go to make stones stone stairs or anything of that type use the uh, stone cutter. It doesn't really matter for slabs I guess but I'm just putting that out for you guys a half stack of those half stack of them no. about a stack and a half I'll take the dirt back out Now it's a roof time, buddy. I'm gonna need my planks also. Gonna need them and that. Alright, generally when I make roofs I try to keep in at least keep the shape of the building going It's up to you how far down you want to go. Here's about enough for me though. Not like that. I'm just going for a basic roof so I'll probably just cut ahead until when I get it. Until I at least get this angle done so I can show you that. So I'll see you in another bit.
Ow. I broke me legs. As you can see, it's bare bones, I guess, but it gets the job done. Now, now I'll have to pretty much replicate this look around the entire entirety of the house. So I'll I'll just cut back to you guys whenever I get most of it filled in. Alrighty, see you guys. In a bit. One hour later. Alrighty, guys. We are back. As you can see, we got a roof on this dude now. I'll be at a basic one, but it'll work. It gets the job done. And now our base is looking pretty nice. All we got left is a little bit of railing on the porch. Which uh, I think I'll just do that on camera right quick. Give me all of them. Oh, we're gonna need a few more. probably enough. Yep. Now we got a little front porch going. Look pretty nice, nifty. Let's see how we look now. Look a lot more complete than we used to. Alrighty guys, I'm gonna cut out here so it's getting late at night and I'd like to go to bed so we're gonna cut the, cut this part here. I'll see you guys again in probably the morning. So yeah, bye bye. The next day. Howdy y'all, I am back. Not the best angle, but, oh well it doesn't matter, it does it? I've done a little bit of work to the base. I've added a couple more little decorations and I've even got this thing going. In case you couldn't tell, I was busy working on the cow farm and the little sheep farm. So I got a bunch of wool, we got some paintings up, got all the leather we needed for these, and I even did an upstairs. I think it looks really good. I don't know about you guys. But yeah, it ain't much, but it's pretty nice. You can tell I've been working around out here, because look. Oh, the cows in here. It's 
stupid how big they are. And also, fun fact, guys, it is now the one one out eighteen, which is freaking awesome. Which means we got some new awesome caves to go explore. Won't that be fun? But before diving right into cave, some caving action, I wanna get I wanna get the diamond pick built. The world's first diamond pickaxe. It's a pretty momentous occasion if you ask me. I don't know what all this stuff is. Where do I keep the magic? Here. One of the biggest moments of the world is about to take place, guys. You ready? I'd like to do this manually. Oop, oop, oop. Now, can you imagine if I messed up and make a diamond hoe? It's so powerful. The mythical diamond pick. It almost feels illegal having it in my possession. Before we go hitting the new awesome caves, I need obsidian to work with. So we're gonna have to go down to the caverns to get some get some of that. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Was this always deep slate? Some tells me it was. And I just looped myself. Go me. Oh, there's some. The best way to mine obsidian is to use a bucket of water. Pop in the little hole you dug. Just get to mining it. As you can see, it takes quite a bit of time to mine. So, I'm most likely just gonna fast forward this bit. It's not even gonna last more than a couple minutes. I'm gonna gather at least 14. In a second. Two very boring minutes later. Alrighty, guys, we're back. Second level of my house. Let me go down the floor quick. This for the next thing I need, I'm going to need four obsidian. I did it right. Four obsidian. Two diamonds book to create one of the most one of the best things in the game this guy right here chanting table you may say to yourself now what does that have to do with anything boom we're gonna place it in here Unbreaking 3 isn't the greatest, so I'm going to plop that on an iron pick. Hello. That's what we're talking about, buddy. Fortune 3, that's what I wanted. Seem to be very good. I think efficiency one, I guess. Try to re roll it. Not quite enough levels out of that. Fair enough, fair enough. Good thing I had this thing building up with XP for a while. Let's 
so I need a I need a bunch of XP right now. I'm gonna use the furnace trick. Oh, dang it! I messed it up. Smelt it again. Wow, that's all the levels I got. Barely got anything from that. Oh well. We got 30 we need again. We're we looking right. I'm breaking 30. Right, I'm gonna make another diamond pig. Call the waste of diamonds. I call it pure profit. Watch. This is gonna be my silk touch pick. Hope you're watching, guys. Boom, boom, chocolate. Dang it. Another fortune pick is always good though. I'm not gonna disown that, that's still a good pick. we go and actually explore the new world I don't know how I don't know how much I've done but I kind of want to go and test out this new pick for just take it out on a little joy ride so I'm gonna find a safe enough place to set up a new camp I'm gonna find a home away from home if you will. So we're probably gonna set out sail that way. I can find my boat. Boom. Drop off whatever you don't need. That is always handy to have. Try to keep a stack of dirt, at least, or something to build with. Bring plenty of food. I don't think I'll need that much. <laughs> but to be safe, guys, I'm going to take a screenshot. of the coordinates we don't want to repeat what happened last time we left the house <laughs> gonna play it safe this time alright so pretty much if you're leaving the house if you're going on a little adventure make sure you have enough iron wood food especially the food and make a compass. Compass always points to your world spawn. Well, it'll point to your closest spawn, I guess, really. At least I'm pretty sure that's how he works. Hmm. Well, since this is sort of near the world spawn, say if I were to break the bed here, because I have it set to my spawn, If I were to look at the compass now, oh no, it's always it does always point the world spawn. <laughs> All right, so we got a boat, guess food, we got enough iron. 
Let's, let's go. Let's go explore this new update, guys. Now, I know I didn't read the change log, but I don't... I'm not 100% certain if they added bundles yet. Ooh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You stay right there, doggo. I'll be right back. Grab bones, my chest to whom? Take a quick detour. These bones, and you're gonna like it. Wait, that came out wrong. <laughs> Don't read into that. <laughs> Please. There's more than one. Okay, we got one doggo friend. I need at least two. Two doggo friends. Well, I only want two anyway. Let's go, dog brethren friends. We've got an adventure to go on. for yet. Let's go, Doggo Brethren. This is a relatively flat area. I die. Set us on. Move a torch. Another water source nearby. Ah, oh, that'll work. That'll work. I just need a way down there. Oh, come on. They have reworked how mob spawning works, I do believe. Now it's just one block, pretty much. If there's one block of light, mobs only spawn in zero below now, I do believe. So pretty much as long as it's not really dark, it'll be fine. That's about all I really have to say. I just wanted to go on a mining session. I might just fast forward most of this thing, so. I don't want to bore you guys with all this stuff again, so I'll cut ahead.
you guys. Sorry about all that. But. <laughs> Overall today was a fairly decent haul. We made two new friends. We found a massive cave system. died a whole bunch of times so I'm just gonna leave this episode here guys So thank you guys for watching and all that stuff. Like and sub if you liked the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.